How to fill up Thailand Digital Arrival Card or TDSC. Hello everyone, this is Amit Dan today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fill up TDSC card. Now, what I'm going to show you, just be very careful uh, for the first few minutes because I'm going to show you something very important and uh, not following that may cost you uh, money. So, in order to get to the right TDSC form, what do you need to do? Search TDSC Thailand. So you can go to Google and search TD, TDSC Thailand. And if you do that, then you're going to see there are like, you know, some websites appearing in the beginning or on the top list. So what it means that these websites actually, they're like in you know, a sponsor, they're paying Google for search optimization so they, they can appear on the front of the search. And that way, when you click on them, they're going to ask you for money. So it's like yeah, these are agents working uh, on behalf of you, but they're asking for money and you have to pay them. But in reality, uh, if you go through the government website or real TDSC website, you don't have to pay nothing. So some of these websites even can be scam. Uh, who knows? Because, you know, they may just take your credit card information and scam you. Or some of them may be just real travel agent trying to make some money. But the way you can figure out that you're going to the right website or not, always look for dot g o dot t h so what it means that that site is a government of thailand website so for example if you take a look here you're going to see that it has dot g o dot t h and thailand digital arrival card and the first thing you're going to see that no fees so that means that you know they're not taking any fees and this is a safe site to click so we're going to click on it and see what happens now you're going to see a verification like you know uh, button here what happened sometimes you may get like you know uh, unsuccessful right here with a red like you know mark that means that it's not going to work on that browser you have to switch the browser so if you have like you know chrome or edge or vivaldi just try a different browser it was giving me an error message on uh, edge browser then i switched to vivaldi but now it looks like it's working fine so here you have, uh, you can see that there are like, you know, two sections, arrival card or update arrival card. So this section right here, update arrival card is later on. If you need to update something, you can come back here and click it. Then it will let you update some information, but not everything. For example, if you enter your passport information, it cannot be updated. So if you make a mistake doing that, you have to redo the whole form. Now, this form, let's click on arrival card. And here is going to take you to the form. Now, you have to fill up this form within 72 hours of, of your trip. You cannot do that before. And if you do not fill up this form, then you will get a chance to do at the airport, but there's going to be a delay and it's a lot of hassle. And also, the Thai authority may, be, may decline you uh, or decline entry, although it's very unlikely to happen. But I read, uh, like, you know, in the terms and conditions that if you do not fill up the form, then they have the right to decline your entry. But probably, like, you know, they're not, not going to do that, but that's something just to keep in mind. And also, everyone, whoever is going to Thailand, regardless of your country or passport, you can be, like, you know, from any country, you have to fill up this form. So there's no, like, you know, escape. So everyone has to fill up this form. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just fill up the form and to show you guys, and I'm going to... I'm not going to give you my like in you know, a real name uh, because I don't want to fill up a form and then uh, which is going to the Thai government uh, if it's not real. So this is just an example to show you. So let's start with the first family name. So I'm just going to put in my family name Bondon. So this is actually your last name. So my last name is uh, D A W N, but I'm just giving a fake name. Okay, just to show you guys. First name. So I'm just going to make up a name, which is going to be Adam, A-D-A-M. But my first name is uh, Ahmed, A-H-M-E-D. But I'm just going to put Adam here. A middle name, I don't use. Uh, it's better not to use middle name. It get like, you know, things get complicated, especially on uh, like, you know, flight uh, information or flight plane ticket or like, you know, this type of situation. Uh, I always put just first name and last name. Now, passport number. I'm going to create a, an imaginary passport number and see if it works. Hopefully this is going to work. Okay, 
Now, country of uh, citizenship or nationality. So for me, this is uh, Canada. So I'm just going to put in Canada, which is real. And we got that here. Date of birth. Again, I'm going to give you like, you know, uh, just an imaginary date of birth. Let's say 19, um, let's, let's put in 19, I would say 1975. Uh, month, I'll just put 05 and date, I'll put 05. Occupation, I'll just put the uh, analyst. And then gender, male, female. So I'm just going to put in male. Uh, visa number uh, for Canadian passport, you don't need visa to go Thailand. So this is blank. If you have a visa number, uh, then you can put in here. Uh, country or country of residence, which is going to be this, going to be the same, Canada. And city state of residence so for me this is going to be state or city okay i'll see if toronto works our state is ontario which is like a province but uh looks like it's working so i'll just put in toronto phone number is going to be plus one which is the international code for canada and i'm going to put in four one six one two three four five six seven okay so now i'm going to hit continue and let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like it accepted my passport number. Now it's asking for date of arrival. So let's click on here. And you can see that some of the dates are grayed out. What it means that if you are not within the 72 hours range, you'll not be able to fill up this form. So you can see here that if you are arriving up to 28 then you can fill up this form but if you are arriving on the 29th of November then you cannot fill up this form today you have to fill it up tomorrow so we are going to assume that we are arriving in Thailand 28th of November and country territory where you boarded now this is it can be a little bit of confusing let's say if you have a connecting flight let's say you're going from Toronto to uh, let's say Kuala Lumpur and Kuala Lumpur to Bangkok, that here, you're not going to put in Canada, you're going to put in Malaysia. So this is like, you know, your last flight before reaching Thailand. So keep that in mind. So here, I'm just going to put in uh, Kuala Lumpur or Malaysia. Given the stating that, you know, I had a flight change in Malaysia. Purpose of travel, uh, this is holiday and mode of mode of travel so this is going to be air if you're going via land or sea then it's going to be like you know uh these two now mode of transport so this is going to be a commercial flight and flight number so i'm just going to see put in air canada i see uh one uh, let's say three four five uh it's just a fake number now date of departure now you can see that this one is not like you know it doesn't have a red star like this so that means that this is optional so if i know when i'm leaving thailand i'm just going to enter it if i don't then i can leave it blank but for this case let's put in something like uh one week after our arrival which is going to be let's say like uh i just put in like you know t december 10th and mode of travel would be air and transport would be commercial flight and flight number we're going to put again ac445 which is air canada okay so now accommodation information so here this one is going to be where you're staying in thailand now if you are staying at multiple places uh, you can just enter the first one so let's go with the type of accommodation is going to be hotel and province is going to be bangkok district is going to be i think sukhumvit i have an address from my hotel where i stayed before so i think this is i'm not sure what is the province there but i'll try if this works because this is a shares on uh, i'm sorry jw marriott in bangkok where i stayed before so i'm just going to see if it works here okay looks like it's working 
and subdistrict i have a feeling this is uh sukumvit let's see if it works if you do not have that information just go to the hotel website and get it from there and if you have that then it's fine so subdivision would be also uh, colon 10 i think colon 2 i'll just put it here postal code 10110 which got populated by itself but when i'm taking a look at the address of jw marriott i can see that it's the same postal code so i'm just going to leave it there and address i can just copy from here which is right there now i have the address so i'm just going to hit continue and i'm going to double check quickly everything looks okay here so let's hit continue now health declaration passenger tra passengers traveling to enter in thailand have to be vaccinated with the vaccines approved by thailand or by the world health organization or other vaccines as allowed by the ministry of public health okay list the name of the country state is where you stayed within the two weeks before arrival so for me this is going to be only canada so i'm just going to put in canada and if you have other traveler you can do so then i'm just going to hit preview and let's see what we have here so now it's giving a summary of the whole thing you entered so that means that you know so far everything did okay uh, if you have done anything wrong then it would give you a message or error message saying that you have uh, made a mistake now just take a look here again travel vaccinated uh, list of country now if you have a different country and for some specific countries they may require like you know to have like you know proof of vaccination and if you enter that country it will pop up like in you know, a different message so you have to just keep in mind uh, keep an eye on that but uh, if you're coming from like you know like some country where there's nothing required then it's not going to give, ask you for anything else now please specify an email address to send okay now here you can uh, enter an email address at gmail.com so which is going to your email address and you have i have read and accepted the terms and conditions so here like you know some uh, terms and conditions so if you hit agree okay so now you can hit submit here and once you submit this is going to the government of thailand and then you're going to get a qr code in your email so basically that's it very simple so that's how you fill up the thailand digital arrival card and again do not you know fail for the scam if someone is asking for your money just find the right website uh in order to get the right website just look for dot go dot th and this is how you can uh, fill up your car now what i noticed that you can uh, add information later on uh, like you know and uh, you can edit information you can change your hotel address or name but you cannot change your passport number also if you make a mistake you can delete and just like you know uh, redo the whole thing again so nothing complicated uh, you can do it and if you have if you get stuck in anywhere just you know go through the time time stamp of the video to go fast forward or reverse and just find that section and you'll be fine so thank you for watching and i'll see in the next video